So I went downstairs just to say hello to some of the people on the joint staff who used used to work for me. And one of the generals called me in. He said, "Sir, you gotta come in. You gotta come in and talk to me a second. I said, "Well, you're too busy." He said, "No, no." He says, "We've made the decision. We're going to war with Iraq." Everyone was a little confused about it. Like, Wait a second, I thought we were going to Somalia. What about Yemen, where the terrorists are at? Mm-hmm. Like, nope, Iraq, weapons of mass destruction. And we all knew better, man. This was on or about the 20th of September. I said, we're going to war with Iraq, why? He said, I don't know. We went to war in Iraq. Man, I had, I mean, I was young. I was 19, just just maybe 20, just getting into the team. And uh, I had no idea I was all about it. Oh, I was still all about it, yeah. even though, because they were bad people and Saddam was a horrible person. And I didn't understand geopolitics at all at the time and how toppling a dictator, right? Dictators are predictable. Uh, I said, well, did they find some information collect connecting Saddam to Al-Qaeda? He said, no, no. He says, there's nothing new that way. They just made the decision to go to war with Iraq. He said, I guess it's like, we don't know what to do about terrorists, but we've got a good military and we can take down governments. Secretary Rumsfeld, as you know, we are in serious trouble in Iraq in this war has been consistently and grossly mismanaged. Well, they're not horrible enemies. I mean, if they go, I guess, slaughtering their own people and stuff, yeah, step in and, hey, stop doing that. We are now in a seemingly intractable quagmire. Our troops are dying, and there really is no end in sight. And the American people, I believe, deserve leadership worthy of the sacrifices that our fighting forces have made. Well, that is quite a statement. Um, I'm talking to the helicopter, checking text messages, you know, doing comms, blah, blah. And all of a sudden, my bro goes and jumps. And I look at him, and his eyes are this big. And I'm like, this? And right next to my window is an AK muzzle. By that time, we were bombing in Afghanistan. I said, are we still going to war with Iraq? And he said, oh, it's worse than that. We shut their oil production down so prices would go up. And all the oil folks, BP, British Petroleum, Exxon, name them, they all got rich. He said, he reached over on his desk, he picked up a piece of paper, and he said, I just, he said, I just got this down from upstairs, meaning the Secretary of Defense's office today, and he said, this is a memo that describes how we're gonna take out seven countries in five years. I think General Wesley Clark did an interview in like 2007, maybe eight, whatever. If you Google, YouTube search General Wesley Clark Seven Nation War, I think, will get you the YouTube. I said, is it classified? He said, yes, sir. <laughs> And they were pot shotting us at this point. You know, they weren't 100% sure what they were dealing with. Wake up, man, wake up. I've been asking for help. Contact, contact, contact. Asking for help. They know. And I'm looking, and here comes these dudes. They're like, ooh, opportunity. So I'm just like, yeah. Mr. Secretary, I'm talking about the misjudgments and the mistakes that have made the series which I've mentioned, the disarming of the Iraqi army. Those were judgments that were made, and there have been a series of gross errors and mistakes. Those are on your watch. Those are on your watch. Isn't it time for you to resign? It wasn't until three or four buildings later that I realized I had also been shot in my f***ing embitter. Oh, I'm talking on a radio that doesn't work. And I left my cell phone 
on a Velcro patch on the dash of the car. Shit. So now I got no comms. His buddy runs up behind him, keeps keeps going past the little alleyway, and I hear him hitting the brakes. He saw me out of the peripheral vision, and he came back and put his head around the corner. So I dumped him. You know, I guess. Do you think we're the bad one. guys? Just honest question, and I, I, I think I've been thinking a lot, a lot about guys. this lately. I think there are a lot of bad people in our government. Senator, I've offered my resignation to the president twice, and uh, he's decided that uh, he would prefer that he not accept it, and that's his call. You look at the world, and you look at all the shit that the U.S. has intervened in, and now, you know, the, with, the, with the way the internet yeah. and, the, and, the, and the, the access to information we have, it's starting to paint another picture.